Hello everyone, it's Gigabeef here and today we're completing Gunsmith Part 8. We need very specifically an AKS-74N with Zenit parts, this is important later. Ergo needs to be over 65, recall some of less than 250 and no more than 10 slots. There are some very specific parts it also needs, a B30 handguard with a B31S upper handguard rail which is all one part, an RK0 foregrip, an AK12 magazine, a Clash 2IKS and a DTK1 muzzle. So let's get started with Prapor 2 and an AKS-74N. It must be this specific gun, the other AK variants won't work. Adding the things that we've been told to add is the B30 handguard with the upper, the RK0 grip and the AK12 magazine, with the Clash 2 IKS and the DTK muzzle. Now we still need a little bit more ergo and a bit more recoil reduction too, but you can't just do what you want as it says Zenit parts and Zenit all around in the description, but it isn't specific. To make it accept the gun, you need to have the B33 cover, the RK3 pistol grip and for the stock it must have the PT lock plus the PT3. This is kind of annoying because I think that the PT1 should work as well. It fits all the criteria and is also made by Zenit, but it doesn't let you hand it in. Maybe it'll get changed, who knows, but the PT3 is the safe way of doing this task. So how do we get these parts? The B30 handguard is a Mechanic 2 barter for 3 sticks of RAM, and both the B33 cover and the RK04 grips are Skier 3, but can usually be found on the flea market despite the high price tag. It's hard to get these two parts outside of the flea market, other than randomly finding a Zenit AK on a high level AI such as a Rogue or a Raider. AK-12 magazines are Prapor 4, but despite this they're usually cheap-ish on the flea given that they're a gunsmith part, but there is another way to find these that can work sometimes with a little effort. Player scavs also spawn with these mags attached, but I've only ever seen it on the AKS-74U, the regular version. If you scour the flea market a little bit, sometimes you can find one of these pretty quickly. RK3 pistol grips are similar in that they're a bit of a pest to access, but they also spawn on scav weapons fairly frequently too. Where I usually find these most regularly is inadvertently listed as part of a Saiga 12, but you can get them on the AKS-74U as well. The final tricky part is the PT3 stock, which again is on Skier 3, but there is a combo barter that you can do to get both this and the RK3 pistol grip together on Mechanic 1. The PP19 Zenit costs about 90k using a roller and a GP coin and gets you a bunch of stuff along with the RK3 pistol grip and the PT3. The rest of the gun sells back for 57k if you didn't want to keep any of the other parts, so ultimately these two mods cost you just under 33k together, which is pretty nice. Putting all this together completes our build and we're on to our next new gunsmith for patch 13, the P226 pistol.